Members, I rise to amend AB 2000 to incorporate provisions found in House of Representatives Bill 3230. H.R. 3230 was signed into law by President Obama on August 7th, and it punishes public universities and colleges that do not grant all GI Bill beneficiaries in-state tuition rates by disapproving the entire campus as of July 1st of 2015. Uh, uh, California is one of 23 states that must act quickly to update our state education code to reflect this newly signed law. We have 78,000 GI, uh, 78,000 students who are using the GI Bill that are California residents that will lose their opportunity to use the GI Bill attending a UC or CSU campus. It's really important that we take this issue issue up in a timely fashion. You know, our veterans, when they signed up, were promised these benefits, and for California not to comply with federal law and to deny them access to their GI benefits here in California when they're a resident of California is absolutely outrageous. You know, we have passed bills uh, that have allowed people from uh, four nations to get in-state tuition we have allowed others to have in-state tuition. All we would have to do is to accept this amendment to allow uh, 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 service members who are stationed here in California to receive in-state fees. This is a very minor issue on our side, but a major benefit to 78,000 Californians that have served to protect our nation. It is important, it's imperative to them that we allow them to use their GI benefits to go to our UC and CSU systems. So here's essentially what it is. You know, we have a bill that is going to accept credits for people here who, uh, who are not U.S. citizens. So if they come here, we're going to accept that. But if they volunteer to serve in our military, we're not going to allow them to have in-state tuition. That's wrong. Not only that, but with H.R. 3230, what's going to happen with H.R. 3230 is if we don't allow people stationed here to receive in-state tuition, then our veterans and their benefactors will not receive their GI Bill here in California. So the 78,000 GIs who are using their GI benefits right now are going to lose their ability to attend our CSU and UC system. This is a huge paramount issue. And if we're going to move forward and recognize people who are here as immigrants, legally or illegally, then we should be at least recognizing servicemen who are giving their lives and offering their lives to protect our freedom. We should give them the same courtesy of in-state tuitions. Now, I know there's going to be a movement because it, it always seems to be the trend that we will, will table this motion so we don't have to actually vote on this issue. But mark my words, 78,000 veterans and their benefactors are going to lose their GI bills because we didn't move and act on this today. Don't allow them to suffer while we're giving services to other people. You know, I, I was in a hearing yesterday and they talked about Prop 187 and how it mean-spirited it was. If we don't pass this, it can only be described as mean-spirited. This is the reason why people voted for Prop 187, because this legislature failed to act for our veterans, failed to act for all those people who have given their service to our country to protect our freedom. If we fail to act today, 78,000 of them will lose their benefits. And those are the ones that are enrolled today. The ones that would like to enroll this year for next year, they will be denied their opportunity. We can't say that we support these people and then allow their benefits to be stripped from them because we fail to act. So I'm asking that you don't table this, that you put it up to a vote. Let's not let our legacy at the end of this session be that we fail to act on behalf of our veterans, on behalf of our active servicemen who are working so hard. Let's not that, let that be our legacy. Let's step up. Let's do the right thing. Let's not table this motion. 
But in the light of day, let's allow our constituents to find out where we stand. Do we stand with just promoting those immigrants that are here illegally? Or do we stand also with our military, giving them the courtesy that they deserve, giving them what, what they've worked so hard for? Let's not deny our servicemen and then turn around and give their benefits to someone who is here as an illegal immigrant. Let's not put illegal immigrants who are not in the service over illegal immigrants who are in our service. You know, many of the, the immigrants who have come to our country join the service to earn citizenship. You can't, if, you're, if, we're, if you're saying you're for bringing people into our country, let's bring everybody in equally. Don't punish our military while you reward other people who came through the back door. I urge, and I vote, and I urge that you not table this motion, but you allow it to be heard on this floor. As a matter of uh, process, not policy, I am making a motion to ask that these amendments be laid on the table. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Anderson? No. no. Bell? Aye. Aye. Berryhill? Block? Canella? Corbett? Aye. Correa? De Leon? Aye. Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Evans? Aye. Fuller? Gaines, Galgiani, Hancock, Hernandez, I Hill, I Hueso, I Huff, Jackson, I Knight, No Lada, I Leno, I Ted Lou, I Carol Lou, I Mitchell, I Monning, I Morell, No, Nelson, No Padilla. I Pavley, I Roth, Steinberg, Aye. I Torres, I Vidak, no Walters, Wolk, Aye. I Wyland. Wyland, no. Just call the absent members. Gaines, no. Berryhill, Block, Canella, Correa, Fuller, Galgiani, Hancock, Huff, Roth. Walters. Ayes 20, noes 7, measure passes.